Alrighty, we're back with the plucky factory and oxygen not included, and we have huge pressure when it comes to polluted oxygen here. Which wasn't entirely expected nor intended. Liquid pump. Plumbing. What I need is refinement. I need a water sleeve. I can't put because that isn't work. Right. Water sleeve there, but this deodorizer's in the way. Put the water sleeve in there, and we'll dump the water there. And we need automation. A hydro sensor. Hmm. I've got to deconstruct that, and I've got to put a little insulation tile like this. Someone else now has slime lung. So two of our people have slime lung. We do have this thing here going more. And suffice to say that um, this is pretty much out of commission. So we're running entirely based off coal generators. Seven tons of consumable ore, not exactly the most brilliant. I'm going to disable that building. Okay. Refinement. How's everyone's stress doing? Everyone's stress is going down. Plumbing, liquid pipe, goes to there, and then this goes up like that, and that goes there. So that way we can at least keep the cooking going. because we seem to be stable at that at in the 70s in terms of calories. Or if I bring anyone else in, we might start running out of food. And that's not something I really want to deal with right now. Oh, they can't reach that spot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hydro sensor there with a switch to a valve. Could shut off. You can shut off. I mean, automation. Little automation wire. We'll need the hydro sensor, which will go there. Automation wire. There we go. There we go. Everybody's sleeping, of course. Mm, we're running out of water indeed. That is a serious problem. Oh, this needed to be pumped out at the moment. We should have a pretty good amount of oxygen for now because of all the polluted oxygen that we're working with, so... <sighs> How hot did that get? That's not too bad. 
We just need more water. That's a pretty big thing we need. That in. There we go. How's that coming? That's only sitting there. How's this down here going? And it's not really doing a hell of a lot. Dropping the meal lice off there. Keeping the food steady now. We don't want to bring anyone else on. We can support uh, apparently 10 dupes. Which isn't too bad. We can safely support 10 duplicates. Okay, so that's in place. That we need power. We now have. And power. Dropping gold amalgam off. So we can build the wires. That done there. The water shouldn't be too warm, but this, with the output being fixed at. Forty, so it's a hundred. That's going to be a hundred and four degree temperature water. Which is a tad bit warm, to be frank. So that's going to end up heating this up really quick. That I don't particularly like. Cancel all this. I'm probably just going to let all the water fall down into here in a giant boosh. The default output temperature of this is quite high. Sucks. Of course, why are they? You, you guys need to finish all those wires. Seriously, can you finish the wires, please? There we go. I need to get an alternate water source in there just so I can get this other stuff working. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, you build the pump too. The pump is kind of useless without water. How are you cold? I can see you not having on enough oxygen, but you shouldn't be cold. So who auto is sick? Okay, liquid pump is running. Power. Wire. There we go, that's powered now. So now we do have enough. There we go. So now we do have water for cooking. Even if it is quite hot, it is water we can keep cooking. It's also right there, so it makes cooking far faster than it was. 
which is good in that in a regard too. Just really unfortunate about the temp the water temperature. Really unfortunate about that. Which I can kind of fix in one. So we're going to deconstruct that and we're going to build a little bit spot using insulation here. What we can do is we can keep dumping, um, putting ice in to help bring that water temperature down. Where are we going to get the ice? Well, we've almost dug into this area here, so this is precisely where it's going to come from. Base. And then we dig to the side. And we dig down. All the way down. There we go. Look at them all go. Look at them all go. So many duplicates. Nine thirty. There, that gets us some water. We can keep cooking. We're not going to run out of food. <sighs> we really do need to think about other other problems now. This area's gonna warm up pretty quick too. It's dug out and almost all the insulation has been built. There we go. Oh piss, that's running? That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Crap, that means that thing can run too. Oof. There's no actual steam. Yeah, that thing's active. <laughs> I don't want that thing making steam. Okay, you guys are digging down. Uh, um, can someone build that? Thank you. Jobs board. You're two architects. So let's get you and you there. We don't need upgraded architects yet. We just need diggers. Everybody's stress is very low. I suppose I could actually just let everybody upgrade because um, stress is really low. So we'll have two big architects. We'll upgrade the... What was it that you like to do? You're tidy in supply. You must have been the original gopher. And you loved it. Because Ren is apparently... Oh, his athletics is bad. So what is the other stuff you like to do? You like to research. I don't need another researcher. Damn it, Ren. Oh well. Looks like this is for you, Ren. Uh, you're still that farmhand. Nails. Plus two to cook. So we can deconstruct that, and we can deconstruct this. There we 
go. Picked up water. Which I'm guessing is going to be going all the way over there to be used for that, which is not brilliant. Dig up that, and you'll dump all that polluted water into the cold biome. What do we find in the cold biome? Not a hell of a lot. Just one spot of polluted water. So, we're over length in the episode again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back with the Plucky Factory. See ya! Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because otherwise you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenGeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.